Hello, so we are back, and this time we have a job which uh, came from uh, a local repair shop. So we have a Dell laptop, and the problem with this laptop is that pressing the power button, nothing happened. Now let's plug the charger and let's check with the USB C power meter to see what's happening. Yeah, let's be sure the power meter is working. Yeah, it is working. Now plug in the USB and it's saying 5 volts and 200 milliamps. And that's not good, that means it's not negotiating the voltage. Okay. Now the other port. Five volts, 200 milliamps, yeah? So the charger is not speaking with the laptop for some reason. Okay? Now pressing the power button. Nothing happened. Keeping press the power button. And nothing happened. No. Okay? So let's open quickly the laptop and try to fix it, yeah? Let's see how hard it can be. What can be the problem? Probably they open already, they reset everything because this is coming from a computer shop, so... Wow! The laptop is looking like new inside. Probably this is a new one. It's looking nice. Huh? Look at the fan, it has metal blades. This is a nice laptop. Let's take out the battery. Okay. Uh, do we have any BIOS battery here? No, I can't see any BIOS battery. Let's plug the USB power meter. Same story, 5 volts, 0 0.2. I'm just trying to figure it out. If it's a problem with the input part, yeah, or with the board itself. So we can try to charge the battery a little bit. The battery has zero volts. Or maybe let's check the main power rail. Okay, yeah. Let's see the main power rail. It's good, it's not shorted. No. Okay, on this capacitor we have like 0 0.03. This looks weird. Or that is not a capacitor, it's something else. Uh, look at the look at the hard drive. So how we are taking this out? Oh yeah, and here we have the V core power supplies. No, nah, it's not short. No, 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 no short. So this is not a shorted motherboard. <laughs> oh lol! Look, check here. Two BIOS chips here. Hmm. What is this? Oh, this is a bridge from this board to the other board? Okay, that's good. Let's come with the power supply. Low current, let's see what the battery is doing, yeah? It's doing nothing, it's taking no power. 
nothing. Hmm? Nothing. It's taking nothing. Okay, let's plug the USB C. Same story, but let's see if it's taking power. No, it's taking no power. Haha. <laughs> okay, let's come with the voltage on the main power rail. Yeah. No, it's taking no current, nothing. <laughs> okay, let's check the voltage. Oh, sorry. Let me switch to volts. Nothing. On our BIOS chips, do we have anything? Zero. And here, here we have two volts. How you can have a no, BIOS chip two volts? I mean, did you ever seen a BIOS chip with two volts? Ah, you think what we are, what I'm thinking? Ah, two point one volts. So you are thinking actually here we have a dead diode chip, right? Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> okay, let's get a thermal camera. Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. that's what we are thinking. On a short DC chip. Hmm. Yeah, can be. Two volts on a BIOS chip. Never, never, never seen something like that. One point eight. Yeah. Three point three. Yeah. Lol. What is there? There is a chip. Wow. Wow, it is hot. I would say probably about 70 degrees. Yeah, that's all. So this chip is getting my hot. This one. Uh, 46, 47 degrees from what I can see on the, okay, let's see what that chip is doing, let's see, uh, that chip, it's a TPS chip, and who knows what it's doing. Two days later, and I just got the chip, yeah? So one more time, we have to replace this chip because I don't remember why, but if I remember it was getting hot or something, yeah. It was getting hot. And on the 3.3 volts power rail, I have only two volts, if I remember, and I come with the power supply and it's nothing shorted there. So this chip is supposed to supply voltage, yeah? So let's replace this chip quickly. Let's do it quickly. Good. So the chip is sold on place. We can see the chip is sold on place, right? Perfect. I mean, it looks perfect. Let's cool down the chip. Let's use some heat pad to cool down the chip. What's wrong with my camera? Yeah. And all I want to see, I want to see the 3.3, yeah? 3.3 is present, that's mean we've done the job. I believe that it's a 3.3 LDO and 1.8 LDO coming out from this chip. Okay, let me grab the USB-C. So 
So we have the USB-C, we need a meter, yeah, the USB meter, which is here. Great. Now plug in the, the USB and we have, uh, remember last time it was like 5 volts and 200 milliamps? We have 5 volts, we don't have 200 milliamps. Well, let's check the voltage on the BIOS chip, yeah? The voltage on the BIOS chip is... Check on the screen, 3.2, ah, uh -huh. 3.2 volts, which is a different story, yeah, compared with what's, what was last time. Plug the battery, let's plug the charger. We still have 5 volts, 5 volts is, a, you know, is bad, I should have 19 there, it's bad, I know it's bad. Let's see any sign of life. Pressing the power button and nothing happened, like nothing, like literally nothing. <sighs> okay, it's still bad, but it's less bad, yeah? <laughs> uh, why is no working? We do have 3.3. Uh, let's see where we can check the LD or the 1.8, yeah? Let me let me look for the schematic, please. Okay, I found it. I found it. Okay, so that's our chip, dual USB C, PD controller. Yeah. Okay, here. Yeah. So we have HV1, HV2, VBus1, VBus2, and we have LDO 3.3 and LDO 1V8. You see exactly what I told you. So this chip is speaking, yeah, using I2C with uh, probably with the IO chip. Hmm? So where are you, where are those pins? LDO three V three and one V eight. So we have LDO three V three and we have LDO one V eight. Pin number thirty five. Good. So we can check actually. So pin number 9 is this one, and we have 3.2, 3 yeah? And the other one should be somewhere here. 1.8, you can see on the screen, 1.8. So we do have LDO 1.8. Hello, so we are back. And this time, we are doing a video about we don't know what. Yeah, so I just received a parcel. I have a few orders uh, there. But I can't figure it out from where this parcel comes. So whatever component, electronic component is here, uh, we're going to do a video about it, yeah? Let's see. Let's see what job we are doing today. TPS. This is coming from China. Give me one second. But it doesn't have a China label. I found it. I found it. Yeah. So this is the chip we're going to replace today. And uh, it is a story with this chip. Huh. Okay. Yeah, indeed. This came from China. Okay. Good. Now, the problem with this chip, first, I order. Let me show you. Found it. Found it. Found it. Yeah. So this is a Dell laptop. It's a Dell laptop. It's coming from a local repair shop. Anyway, this ship was burned. I believe I have the first part of the video. Hopefully you, hopefully I will find it and I will attach it uh, on this uh, video. So this ship was burned, DJ. Okay, you see, it's the TPS Blau six five nine eight eight DJ. But first, I bought this one, DH. Yeah, and I said, you know what? If, if it's looking like a duck, it's making the sound like a duck, you know, it must be a duck. But it's not. You know, it's not a duck. And the problem is, after that I uh, do some research, because I, this chip arrived with DH. I fit it and it was not working. And i done some research. So actually the DJ1 is the only chip which is supporting Thunderbolt 3. Yeah? So it was a must to order DJ chip. 
So I ordered the chip from China because only there I found the chip. And now is the moment to put the chip onto the laptop. So let me grab the laptop. Okay, so we have the board here. Now let's go and replace the chip quickly and see if the laptop is working. Like new, right? Okay, let's test it. Let's test it. Here we have USB-C. Let's see what's going on. Why my board is dead? My meter is not good. Well, it is good. It is good. Okay, I put back the old chip, the original chip, and I said, you know what, I, I, I will leave this, uh, I'll give back, which, what I will do. But before that, I just, uh, you know, came to a conclusion, and uh, I think I'm done buying chips from China. Clearly, the chip they send it is faulty. So let's go quick forward. I will edit the video with what every chip is doing. So this is the original one. And the original chip, like how the board came... The meter is coming on. It's taking a hundred. It's, it's taking around two hundred fifty milliamps. We can see there where that two hundred fifty milliamps are going to the chip itself. Yeah, and on the on his memory chip, I have uh, two point one volts. You can see two point one. This is a you know this is here is supposed to be like three volts, three point three, not two volts. On the other hand, the chip is getting hot. You can see the chip. Yeah, so clearly this chip is faulty. Uh, if I unplug this and I come with the with the power supply with three volts, yeah, on this memory, it's taking two hundred thirty milliamps, but it's taken by the chip. So this is the LDO, LDO three point three. Okay, so clearly the original chip is faulty. Yeah, good. Now we'll fast, fast forward, I'll replace with the chip I bought it from here, from England, but which is the wrong one, doesn't have the Thunderbolt 3. Give me one second. Okay, so the chip watch is, what is here right now is the TPS with the DH at, at the end. And this one doesn't support Thunderbolt 3, Thunderbolt 3. And I believe that's the reason why this chip is not working. Otherwise, it's looking good. I mean, it's not taking power, it's not getting hard, nothing. And on the memory chip, I have, check on the screen, 3.2. This is the LDO voltage, which is fine. But I believe it has an issue because this TPS is speaking with the IO chip, yeah? Has a memory inside. It's supposed to read this memory. It's more complicated. And I believe that's why it's not working. But the chip is looking good, yeah? Now let me switch with the chip which I bought it from China. Okay, this is the chip which I bought it from China, brand new. Yeah, this is with the end DJ, same like the original. Now, if I plug the if I plug the power meter, it's not getting enabled, so the chip is not enabling the power meter. On anyway. Uh, on the other hand, if I come with the power supply, let's come with the power supply. I said, you know what? Let me check to see if at least if the chip is looking good. So we have three volts, and on the memory chip, yeah, it's taking 120 milliamps. Now 120 milliamps is taken by the chip. Uh, where is the chip? Is there? I will come with the power supply and check there. You can see half of the chip on the bottom is getting hot. You can see it. So the chip actually is taking 120 milliamps. 
you can see it yeah and that's the LDO voltage the, 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 the chip itself is not supposed to take power to eat the LDO voltage is supposed to supply LDO voltage so this chip is a hundred percent burnt yeah so I bought a faulty chip so on this point I will stop buying chips from China I can't believe actually I bought a chipset and a CPU from China <laughs> which both proved to be faulty but yeah I have no idea what's going on uh, it's hard to open a case and uh, you know prove actually the chip is burned and they will say no you burn it or you have a different fault or no I will not uh, I will stop ordering chips because it's pointless I think I believe those chips are coming somehow from some warehouse like faulty chips like chips they got rejected they didn't match the specifications or they replicate the chips just to looks like the original chip actually they are not working i have no idea but i'm kind of done buying chips from china and i prefer to invest money on faulty motherboards and if i need a chip i'll take the chip from there just uh, you know just to let you know yeah on this job i did lost money and uh, when i start losing money it's kind of you know you have to do a change and the change what i will do i'll not, I will not buy chip from china anymore i prefer to pay more and buy a faulty motherboard okay so i'll stop here thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one Bye.